Hey guys, Tark Recycling FPV, and I am actually getting ready to start working on this piece of equipment right here. This is going to be, uh, I just finished working on the Slim, and so now what I'm going to do is remove it because I had a customer ask me about um, connecting, sorry, I'm looking because it looked like there was somebody here at, at the property, I don't see anybody, uh, trying to connect the um, uh, Vi Fly Finder and one of the errors that they were getting, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to now connect the Vifly Finder and see if we can kind of put a good demonstration on that together, okay? Let me see. That is the U.S. Post Office picking up packages. All right. That's what I'm talking about. So we got packages going. Oh, now it beeps. Okay. Um, so to do that, I'm going to need a power source for this. And I thought I had my board here. Let me go ahead and grab a Vifly and let me grab a power source for this. And we will get started. Uh, that's not going to be a good power source, but I, well, actually, that'll be perfect. So, let me grab a Vifly now. Alright, I'm going to grab a brand new one, and I'm going to grab my coffee. We're going to make this a fun little video, okay? So, let's go ahead and open the Vifly, um, the Finder 2 right now, see what we got here. Okay, so, yeah, 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 zip tie, and there it is right here, but here's the important part, right? So, this instruction manual is actually pretty spot on. I will give it to them. They did really well on this part. Uh, I think this board is damaged. No, maybe not. I don't know, but we're going to go with this one that's already broken here. That's my demo board. So what we want to do is we want to look at a couple things here. Um, the first thing is that they give you a couple different wiring options, right? And if I could just kind of zoom in, you'll see real quickly the wiring options are as follows. Uh, this is if you have a ground. This is if your flight controller has a ground, a positive buzzer, and a ground buzzer. All right. Uh, this is if your uh, flight controller has a ground buzzer and just a five volt in a ground. And then this is if you don't have any of those, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at our board here. Now we're using the uh, uh, hobby wing because that's what he's using. So let's check this out. And I've got to, I usually have the manual here, but I think I'm actually gonna have to look at this. So I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna get out of this angle here and give you guys this so I can, uh, let me see if I can zoom in, but I need to use the old man goggles for this one, okay? Let me see. Sorry about that. All right, so looking on this board, uh, we are going to have a buzzer positive here and a buzzer ground up here. Given that that's the case, let's go back to our other table. Boom, boom, nope. Boom, 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 there we go. All right, so go back to our other table here, zoom out, and we understand that if there is a positive and a ground, right, then we are going to follow the positive and the ground buzzer, which is going to be the first box right here. So we're going to run these wires pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out real quick, but again, I'm going to have to give you the other angle because I cannot do this without my old man goggles. So let's see what we got here, okay? All right. So you're going to have this cable, right? It's going to come with it. So let's just go ahead and solder that. It's already pretend, so there's nothing to really mess around with that. Probably put a little bit more solder on these pads real quickly because it's been a while since I've worked on this board as far as on these on this section, so let me just go ahead and tend this up just a little bit. Normally I will have this board still, but I did not do that ahead of time. So, sorry, all right. So what we wanna do is just like the, um, just like the manual says, we're gonna go uh, our red to positive, our yellow to negative on the buzzer, and then our black to ground on the board. So we have on our board, it is positives on the bottom, so this is going to sit like this, and I'm just going to do this kind of quickly, right? I mean, this isn't like a final, hey, uh, this board's going out on the market, but my God, I can't get this board to stay in place. And my new mount, I'm making a mount actually right now that will um, allow me to just kind of work on these boards, but do it on this table without having to worry about mounting them. But it's printing right now, so I'm going to wait just a minute, but let me just go ahead and knock this out if I can. So let's just get these wires out of the way. All right, so there's my positive. And there's my buzzer ground, which I'm just gonna kind of swing in from the side here. Sorry if my finger is in the way of you being able to see it. And then I'm gonna pick any other ground and, um, I don't know, there's two grounds over here. I'm just gonna keep these kind of far apart for right now. So there's two here, one above the other. So there you go. I'm just gonna leave this like that. It's a very kind of, I don't know, not fancy way to wire this up, but it serves a purpose, okay? So now this is gonna go, let me zoom out. Let me get this out of the way. And let's see if we can give you a better shot of this now. There we go. 
okay and I noticed that my camera is all kinds of twisted here so let's see if we can straighten out uh, whatever. as long as the fight for dads is straight across uh, looks good and let's move my ugly head over here somewhere there you go and boom there you go all right so now that we've got this ready right what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and plug in our uh, uh, a finder for testing right so let me just make sure I got these lined up and I do I'm gonna turn my DC uh, power source on that's a AC to DC power source I've got 12 volts running through it and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the cable uh, so that we are good to go right so it should go in just like this there now my, my Wi Fi is up and running and I believe we just saw it blink a little bit and we heard it okay the thing is is this isn't charged yet right I mean it's been sitting okay in our inventory and so there's not really much charge which means if I turn it off I'm gonna have a little bit of beeping here right but there's not much else that's gonna happen. Um, I guess this may hold on for a little bit. Um, but outside of that, if it doesn't stay on very long, there you go, sorry about the noise back here, but that is it um, activating there. So, okay, so it don't expect it to have a ton of time on it just yet because it needs to charge, and you could just leave this on to charge it if you want, but this is how you would connect uh, this setup, right? And then, um, if you were to disconnect it like that or, or kind of simulate the battery missing, uh, there you go. And then just hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. It beeps three times and you're good to go. And then you can just plug it uh, back in uh, when you're ready. There we go. All right. And it's back to normal and you have your red light right here. Okay, guys. So on a board like this one on the, uh, on the um, Hobby Wing, okay. Uh, and I know Vifly gives you a bunch of options. Sorry, let me just... There we go. I know Voxfly gives you a bunch of options. Like they've got three options on how to use this, if, depending on the board you have. On the Hobby Wing stack, this is what you've got. You do have a positive uh, buzzer, a negative buzzer, and then a ground. So use all three of them and wire it like this, and it will start working. But if you do have a problem with the battery not charging, please let it charge for a little bit. Some of them have been sitting a while, and they need to kind of charge that um, lithium ion battery. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, hit me up. Don't forget to please subscribe to our channel at YouTube. Uh, I think I said that wrong. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at that address down there. And then, uh, let me get that out of the way. Make sure to follow us and like us on this Facebook page here. And then if you need to contact me, boom, there it is right there. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I may have you email me and then I'm going to tell you, hey, okay, look, I need you to uh, fill something else out. So, I mean, don't get upset if I'm like, hey, I appreciate you emailing but I want to keep track of the conversation because there's obviously more work to be done. Please use our contact form because then that creates a ticket for me so I can at least... Uh, um, Go back and look at it, okay? Uh, other than that, safe flying. It's raining outside right now. And I uh, hope you guys are having some great weather. Don't forget to kiss your kids. Love your family. Be thankful for what you got, guys. God bless. Safe flying, and I will see you soon. Bye.